I've got a bit of a thing about ramps. I like them to be safe and I like them to be comfortable. And I'm in Perth at the moment, uh, so I thought I would just show all the ramps on a 40 kilometre loop through a number of council areas. And this is because some of the uh, ramps in the Eurobadella area are just atrocious. So here we are starting off near Parliament House in the CBD and just have a look at how easy and smooth these ramps are by comparison. And these are old ones. These date back decades. This is actually uh, quite old paths. Let's just ignore those guys going through the red light. Um, but uh, yes, here we go down the hill. You can see um, lots of mixed users and at grade driveways. Now, one of the things to note here is, of course, beautifully wide ramps. I mean, you could put three or four people abreast across those. And all the driveways along here are at grade. And drivers need to watch out for cyclists when they cross the path, not the other way around. Right, we get to another crossing, another red light runner. But here we go. Again, look at how wide this is. I'm going one way. I've got a pedestrian in front of me. There's a cyclist coming the other way, and there's plenty of room for everyone. Now, a bit of a different story on this tight little island, um, and the, there were pedestrians everywhere on this day. There was a Wildcats game on at the RAC Arena, and fans were flocking in from everywhere, including uh, obviously quite a few by bicycle. Yes, you see lots of trailers and kids on bikes and even dogs on bikes because of, uh, it's nice and safe. Okay, here we have another ramp and we're going to head uh, towards the beach along this principal shared path. And yes, you do see a lot of dogs on bikes in baskets and things like that. And the owners are not worried about their dogs getting thrown out of the basket or off the bike when they're going across um, or transitioning from a path to the road because these ramps are nice and smooth. They're not like the ones around Bateman's Bay where they are deep and evil and quite bone jarring. Anyway, um, we're in Subiaco now, another council area. We're going past a train station. There's a car park on the left. And you might've noticed at both sides, the crossing for drivers going in and out is at grade. A little bit further along as we approach Swanbourne, and you can see uh, driveways going into businesses on the left there, again, all at grade. Now we've made it to Cottesloe, which is again another council, and we're going to have a look at um, a newly constructed shared path. And you might have noticed a lady on a mobility scooter back there. Okay, this uh, path is about a year old, and as you can see, nice smooth ramps. I mean, there's, you almost can't feel them because the transition from the path to the road is so gentle. Okay, and that one is, we just went over, was in fact at grade completely. Uh, I'm just going to zoom across all the at-grade driveways along here, so you're not going uh, up and down as you go across all the driveway crossings. There's a number of road crossings. Here we go. Let's have a look at another one. And you can see they've got some school kids to come up with some designs for some colourful uh, things they could lay down to warn drivers that there are going to be kids crossing. Okay, here we have another one. Beautiful, smooth crossing, really easy. And you can see they put down the tactile mats there as well for, uh, I guess, pedestrians with sight issues. Uh, they've integrated a bus stop into this one, which is uh, you know, not a bad idea. Uh, here we go, another nice smooth transition and again, a nice wide ramp. And we're gonna roll down the hill here. Yep, an at grade car park entrance. There was a bottle shop and a pub on the left there. And you can see they've put down this green surface for these shared areas. Now, this uh, crossing I'm about to do is just dreadful by Perth standards. Uh, this was left out of uh, that project. You see narrow crossings, uh, steeper ramps than usual, but still actually better than most of what's around Batemans Bay. And we'll just duck across this crosswalk here. And what we'll see in front of us, notice the bike rack right at the beach. This is pretty common, nice big bike rack there. So you can ride down the beach rather than uh, driving a car and looking for a parking spot. Now we're back in Subiaco, another at grade crossing. And you might be thinking, well, that's all paved. No, that's, that's not actually for cars. That's a pedestrian mall. Well, let's just ride up there and check that out because that's uh, Subiaco train station well, to the left of us now. And as you can see, yep, plenty of cars going around here because this is actually um, the suburban shopping center here on our right. So yes, <laughs> um, an at grade crossing, nicely paved. And um, yeah, very, very comfortable to ride across by uh, any means. Okay, look, we're back in the city. Wildcats game is on there over at the left at RAC Arena. And let's have a look at some more um, 
uh, road to path transitions. Just again, smooth as can be. Here's, uh, we're over in Northbridge now, um, and here we go across the road. Almost don't feel it as we go uh, onto the path here. And we're gonna go around the corner, car park entrance. Um, you duck down a little bit there, but again, very smooth ramps. Just popping out of suburbia here, um, this little uh, connector path, again, very smooth. And as we can see, look, it's so safe, you get uh, a much higher percentage of women and uh, on bicycles in Perth than you do in New South Wales, because these paths are just so good. Uh, and it's not just the, the width of the path and all the rest of it. It's the fact that you can comfortably ride across these with kids on your bike, kids in a trailer, and not be worried about you know belting the hell out of them as you go across a ditch, um, transitioning from the path to the road. Now this is actually uh, part of that was the city of Melville, I think, and part of it was South Perth. So again, different council areas, and they've all managed to build these very safe, very comfortable ramps um, in their council areas. It's not like one council's done it really well. You can see lots of councils are all uh, using the same design templates, I guess, and they're implementing it quite well. Okay, this is almost the last ramps as we go under the, we're going to go under the Narrows Bridge. And um, yeah, it's just, I hope this has kind of made the point that you want nice wide crossings and nice smooth ramps because we what we don't want is a repeat of this, these deep dish gutters and these terrible transitions that uh, have been built around the place. And uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, next time council um, builds a shared path or a bike path of some sort, they'll take note of uh, how to do it properly and instruct the contractors to um, build it like they do in Perth. Thanks for watching.